what's going on y'all this is Rashad from RashadBeats.com welcome back to another video and in this video we are doing another Beat Nerd 101 tutorial and today we are focusing on how to make a synth melody when it comes to making music synths are very they're like a staple they're a staple in the production community um you're gonna run by a lot of synths with different sound textures different patches different uh modulations different par parameters all types of things like that um, so, you know, synths are really good instruments to have, whether they're boards that you can bring out and then whether there is, you know, sounds like you see inside here. So with that, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to end up using uh, citrus. I'm going to end up using citrus simply because I feel like citrus has a lot of good, a lot of good sounds. So I usually jump right into here when I'm thinking about finding a synth. And it makes sense because, you know, it's an FL Studio stock plugin. Everybody has it. So let's click something that we can use. Let's try ambience. That's cool. Let's try something else. Okay, so I like distant. So right now since we're in the, in the piano row i'm going to show you exactly what i'm going to do i'm just going to find a key that i that i feel i like and then i'm going to construct the melody around the key so i'm going to use a and then i'm going to continue to build on it using the notes so i'm going to work on my progression right now keep going right now I'm just going to continue to construct it so we start at A Add a little under notes. All right, so this should complete the loop that we got already so far. A little dark. Let's add one more note to make to make it make sense. See what we got so far. And yeah, this should complete it right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one melody. I like this. I might end up flipping it. 
but just for for what we got I'm gonna keep running with it so I'm gonna put it in my mixer as you just seen it's in my mixer number five another way to send sounds to your mixer out as well you press uh, I just press alt C to, to duplicate my sound and then you go to your mixer you click on an empty insert and then you press control L and that sends your sounds directly to your mixer without having to right click and open up your channel settings and using your assigned free mixer it's just a shortcut so we have a cool little melody let's build with that i'm gonna build a counter melody on top of this to continue to to bring this melody out and see what else we can add to it Bring this octave down. That's cool. Let's get one more counter melody in there. So basically, right now. The melody is stopping at the five. We want the melody. We want the melody to stop at the nine, though, so it can be a complete loop. And in order to do that, you go inside your pattern, go on both patterns. You use your select tool, highlight from the one to the five. Make sure your snap is on line, so it doesn't. It don't. Uh, it'll snap, and you won't miss. You won't miss your uh, bars. And then you press Control B. Do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Boom. Highlight. Control B. Now we have it looping to the nine, and that is a complete loop. So I can just start working on percussion as soon as I finish this melody, basically. And I'm gonna go back into my distance number two and do the same exact thing. Control B. Now they're both looping at the nine. All right, now let's find one more sound to make this sound different, and then I'm going to break down how progression and rhythm um, basically is basically like your, your bread and butter when it comes to making uh, melodies. Let's try Celestial. 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 <laughs> Gonna change this last one. turn this down a little bit as you can see on my channel settings you can also look right here in this bar where I'm clicking at and if you hover if you hover over any bar or anything that's in FL it'll tell you exactly what it is so right now my channel volume if I turn it down some more it'll tell me 25% negative 21.9 decibels and that's where it's at right now so if you pay attention to this little bar this will also let you know what you're actively doing within FL studio All right, this is cool. Now, to be honest, personally, I feel like it needs one more melody. So let's do one more, one more counter melody, and then we can wrap this up. And this time, I'm gonna pick another, 
Let's try like a pad, like a synth pad above the clouds. Let's try that. Too, too punchy. This might work. Also, be aware when you duplicate your sounds, whatever you're duplicating a sound from, so say like I duplicated this again, this distance, this will also show up in my five on my mixer as well, the next one. So as you can see, they're both five. This one needs to be its own channel though. So to avoid that, just put it in another channel by assigning free mixer track or clicking whichever free empty one you want and then pressing control L, whichever one. I'm gonna speed this counter melody up to give it a different rhythm. And I'll bring this key to C sharp to make sure it sounds different when it starts again, but it'll be alternately the same seamless loop. And then we gotta do the same thing to keep it looped. just a cool little wavy i say just a cool little wavy melody all right so now that we have our full body of melodies we can go ahead and split them in the playlist now so let's go to our step sequencer go to our pattern one click on it and click split by channel and boom we have our full body full body of melodies that's ready to go all all we need now is like some percussion and this is good to go so with that being said man um i just want to Thank you guys again for tuning in to another Beat Nerd tutorial. We're going to keep breaking this down step by step, bit by bit. And also, if you are still wondering on the personal training of Beat Nerd, we have 10 personal videos that you guys can sign up with. I'll leave the description and the link below. You can sign up and you can lock in and learn how to do exactly what I'm showing you. But we have 10 more videos with more advanced training. With that being said, man, um, thank you guys for tuning in to another Beat Nerd tutorial. Um... This is the synth wave melody creation tutorial. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking with Beat Nerd and supporting us. We are extremely grateful for y'all. And without y'all, this wouldn't have been nothing. This wouldn't have, you know, this wouldn't have even been here. So thank y'all for tuning in, man. Beat Nerd out!